Hey guys, it's Bacon. <clears throat> so I was just deciding that since I'm rebuilding all my stuff because of that disaster that happened with all my crisis stuff, uh, I'm going to do some tutorials on some of the stuff that I've done and things that I find useful and fun to use. And so this tutorial it's going to be on making prefabs and pretty much most of the things that you can do with them. Alright, so prefabs, they're basically just a mesh of objects that are like put into the game that you can use like independently and group together so they're one giant or one like co collaboration of objects put together and you can take out a prefab um, and it'll put all those objects that you have in the prefab into into your map or whatever as one object which is really useful so if you're making like I don't know if you're making this base camp or something like that like you have um, separate separate bases for like North Koreans and, or, and US people uh, or soldiers I mean <clears throat> well what you can do is basically you can select all of them and then turn them into a prefab and once that pre once you rename that prefab to whatever you want to name it it'll save all those objects exactly as they are and you can go into the prefab menu which is like right here and you can take that um, whatever you renamed it to drag it out and it'll place all of those objects back onto the map exactly exactly the way they are, were with flow graphs and with particles and with all of whatever you put in them exactly the way you had them and so I find that really convenient for um, large-scale um, things like I would make these giant bases or whatever and turn them into a prefab so if I felt if I was just bored or whatever I could grab that prefab and just pl put it on a map and then play around with it instead of having to rebuild the entire thing all over again which you know <laughs> it's a pain in the butt but anyway I'm gonna show you how that's done so what you wanna do is you wanna open up your database view um, mine's already open I have three screens running so I just drag my database view over from my other screen and what you want to do is if you haven't already you can either open up new entities as so go to the little folder part in the entity library and click on buildings or whatever and open up a couple more I'm just going to add squad mates vehicles okay sorry I just had an interruption there <laughs> I paused it so it sounded like there was whatever but anyway, wherever I was, um, open up, opening up vehicles or whatever, and then I'm just gonna mm, do anything else. I'll just take out some props too. Okay, so once you do that, you can either have those, um, which are archetype archetype entity entities, and they're just basically entities um, with all their attributes and stats put together in a certain way that. Um, the creators had them or you can go to entities and select AI for example and um, grunt which is like your basic like modeled down person and this is where oops this is going a little fast um, you can it like gives you the basic layout of whatever the basic soldier is and you can be over here and change all of his attributes right here and these are all the basic attributes for um, this soldier or whatever and you can change those up and stuff or whatever and see model here and this is the model for the soldier and whatever um, anyway I'm gonna use the archetype entities because it's simpler that way and they're already done. <clears throat> if I can do this right, here we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab squad me Cortez. Alright, so I'm just gonna lop around a few of them right here. Alright, 
And so now I'm going to take out a building, just like village house or something. Not going to worry about its alignment because it's not really important. But also, other entities you can use geometry entities. It's pretty much the basic things or objects that you can have. It has everything. So I'll just use this wall, whatever. <laughs> and then brush, same thing. Except with these, you can sort of edit them, I think. Maybe. If you go into like, yeah, something like that. But whatever. Not doing that right now. Alright. And then. Uh, I'm going to make one guy get into a car so I can put the flow graph element into here too. Well, that's not really a car, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so now that you have like all your stuff put together, this is just a plain example. Nothing really special. Um, I'm going to make this guy get into the APC. Have this over on another window. Uh, this is embarrassing. Hold on. There we go. Start. Come on. This is probably the lamest way to do it, but there's probably other more. There's, this is like the simplest way <laughs> to make a person get into a car. I mean, or vehicle or anything. <clears throat> Come on, little boy. And if you don't know how to do this, you can probably find another tutorial somewhere. Um, this on how to make someone get into a vehicle. I'm not going to explain. Uh, if you could pause it or whatever and look at it, then that's fine. But whatever. Okay, so now hopefully he'll get into the tank. Maximum It's weird. Whatever. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... Is there anything else I should put in? Um... No, I think that's good. Um, Alright, so now to make the prefab, what you're going to do is highlight all of them and then up at the top where it says prefab. Oh wow, it saved my shortcut. That's weird. That's stupid. Of all things to save, whatever. <clears throat> um, go up to prefab and then hit make from selection and you'll get a pop up. Whatever. And I also missed a step here, but whatever. Um, what you sh if you want to like have your libraries, just make sure you go create new library, which is this little paper thing with a something, whatever it is next to it. I don't know what it is. Yellow thing. Um, I'm just gonna name this test because it's test, obviously. And then you want to make a new. Well, actually, no. This is where the prefab part comes in. Sorry about that. <coughs> go up to prefabs. Make from selection and then for a group this is going to be like the group of certain um, prefabs that you want in it so like if you are making like house prefabs or something you can um, uh, or building prefabs you can type in buildings for groups and then type in whatever that you want to name that prefab so that name right here is going to be the name of the prefab Sorry about that. Um, and so I'm just going to name this test blah 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 blah. Um, and then it'll create a new folder um, called buildings. And then it'll have your object or whatever there, your prefab. And so after you make a prefab, it's it does this other thing. Um, like if it makes a original. Um, copy without like the little thing next to it bubble and see like when you turn it into a prefab you can move all the objects together and it stays as one object 
Um, and it even saves the flow graph. This thing is in the way. <clears throat> so, you can see how it gets that. And then back to what I said, where it's making that copy or whatever, um, it'll place it all the way in the corner <laughs> in the default zero 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 coordinates right here which is kinda lame but whatever and if you want you can either delete that or do whatever you want with it I usually um, well I mean I usually just delete it because once I'm done with it I can just go back oh, oh hold on I'll show you right so I'll delete that it's the point of the tutorial to show people what you're doing <laughs> So, in case you like messed anything up on the prefab, you can either um, go down here to where it says open, and um, here's like all the list of objects that you have in your prefab. When you do that, um, when you click open, you'll be able to click on whatever and select that object and be able to move it around or whatever. But once you do that, um, it'll stay like that and you can move it back around and it'll still move with the prefab also like when you click open you'll you should be able to click on anything inside the prefab that's here as opposed to when it's closed <laughs> you can't click on anything so um, also if you have to do like a complete restart because um, once you like start making really detailed prefabs um, it'll it gets hard to click on things so if you actually have to do like a clean restart you can click on extract all and you can move everything and it'll it'll save the prefab but it'll get rid of the prefab um, like object but if you go back to your prefabs it'll still be here so you know um, also but there's one thing to keep in mind. Um, wait, whoops. Um, when you do move something in a prefab, you have to make sure you click, you hit update prefab. So I'll show you what happens when you don't do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna move this guy way out here so you can see there's quite the difference. Alright, see, sound, so now, if I take out this prefab again, it'll still be this way. But, as opposed to this, if you hit update prefab, it'll come out the way it was. And so basically, when you create a prefab, everything in that selected area will stay exactly the way it is, the way you want it. And once you do that, you can just take it out, pull it back onto your map, and voila, there you go. Everything works. And you can do this with anything, any object, any game thing you can think of, or whatever, that's on here. So that like includes um, AI parameters and area things and camera sequences, anything on here. Sound, solids, miscellaneous things anything. Um, so for example, um, here's my prefabs. I started the cruisers over again because they were absolutely my favorite. But you know, this is now all I have. <laughs> and pH is just placeholder. So if I don't if I don't have any like thing in the in the actual um, folder yet that I haven't made, I can just go like this this is what I tend to do and then just write ph so it'll create the folder and hold it because if you don't put anything in there um, if you don't put anything as name like the folder won't stay <laughs> so I call it placeholder hence place hold holds place whatever yeah <clears throat> and so back to what I was saying cruisers It like holds the whole thing together as opposed to 
having to build this thing all over again. See? Holds it all together. And these are all individual aircraft carriers. <laughs> so, and this has like 30 pieces on it, 30 aircraft carriers or something like that. So, it's, it's a pain in the butt to build all over again. And like, in my other cruiser videos, like, they were all full with like, um, with tanks and VTOLs and other stuff like attached to it. And like, like I said earlier, um, everything will stay the same, so if you link something to it, come on, just click in random stuff. Um, you can also, oh, and there's also another thing I meant, forgot to mention. Um, when you're doing this, if you, if you have a new object that you want to put into a prefab that you've already made, you can go, you have to, um, oops, my bad. You select your prefab, and then hit, it's definitely pick and attach, yeah. Um and hit pick and attach and then you click that object and then it'll add that object to the prefab and you don't have to click update I don't think maybe actually yeah you probably do let's try that out no you don't have to click update right. so yeah that's once you can do that but anyway what I was gonna show you um, Oh, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, I guess I can get rid of that. Stupid tank, come on. All right. Look at my problems go. What is this? What is going on here? Is this even here? See, you can have unexpected problems. I, it's like this all just kind of teleported over there. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, let me actually try and show you. When you put down something, you can link it to the prefab. Well, actually, preferably you open up your prefab and then do whatever it did. Pick, uh, pick and attach, and then you can link that to whatever your pref, uh, whatever part of your prefab you want to link it to, and it'll stay with it. So that's basically uh, how I made the like cruisers fly and everything. I hooked up a VTOL um, to like the top of one of these, and it um, it flew. <laughs> but like, there's the thing. These are made out of um, basic entities. Uh, that have zero mass and aren't physicalized. Um, so basically, maximum you can armor. Fall right through them. Although that's what should have happened. Ah! That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, despite that there was issues with this thing, concerning the fact that it got teleported all the way over there. Uh, that's what should have happened. I should have fallen all the way through this thing. Let's see if it works here. Maximum armor. No. <sighs> it's just lovely how things just don't want to cooperate with me when I need them to. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. Um, is there anything else? Uh, as I said, like it saves flow graphs and stuff. Um, I think that's basically... No, that's not it. There's probably more. I just can't remember right now. Um, but if you guys have any questions, just ask.